Hello, fifth graders. Today we are working on chapter three, lesson seven. We're thinking about how the distributive property and partial quotients can each help us to find the quotient to a, a division problem. So here is our example of the distributive property. Uh, as you can see here, they broke 69 up by its place values. Six represents 60 and nine is nine. Then they divided each place value by the divisor. So 60 divided by three is 20, and nine divided by three is three. Then you just add those together and you get the quotient of 69 divided by three. So let's take a look at how that works in a problem. Okay, Jesse has 369 beads to be split evenly among three necklaces. How many beads can Jesse put on each necklace? So we can see that we need to divide the 369 beads by the three necklaces to find out how much each necklace it can have. So you have 69 beads, three necklaces, okay? So they're actually showing you two methods here. We're going to model the distributive method here, but they're putting it in an area model over here. So let's take a look at that. First, they broke up 369 by its place values. 3 is actually 300, 6 is actually 60, and 9 is 9, okay? Then they put it in the area model, all right? Why do we call it an area model? Because if we multiply length times width of this, we will get 300, right? Okay, so 300 divided by 3 is 100. We put the 3 over here, Three and we think, oh, if the area of this rectangle is 300, 3 times what is 300? 100. So if we have a width of 300, 3 and a length of 100, then our area of this rectangle right here would be 300. That makes sense. 60 divided by 3, 3 times 2 is 6. There's one zero. So 3 times 20 is 60. And over here we have 3. This is 20, and 3 times 20 equals 60. One more, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we have a 3 by 3. That doesn't really look like a square, but I guess it is. All right, so if we add up all of these quotients, we will get the quotient to 369 divided by 3. So 100 plus 20 plus 3, 100, 120, 123. So one, 369 divided by 3 is 123, which means Jesse can put 123 beads on each necklace. Can we check our work? Of course, 123, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3. That checks. Let's try another one. This time we'll use partial quotients, which I couldn't see quite a few of you working on in Dreambox. If you haven't gotten to this yet in Dreambox, you will soon, and now you'll have a preview of how to do it, okay? So let's read the problem. There are 738 students in Manuel's school. There are six grade levels in his school, with each grade having the same number of students. How many students are in fifth grade? Hmm. Okay, so if we divide all the stu 738 students by the six grades, we will get the number in each grade, which happens to be equal. So fifth, we'll know what fifth grade is. Here is how we would solve the problem traditionally. We're gonna, 600 is close to 630. Oh, okay, I'm jumping ahead a little bit here. So what we're thinking is, what can I multiply the six by that gets me close to 738? but not over. Well, six, <clears throat> six times 100 is 600. But um, if we did six times uh, 200, that'd be eight, that'd be 180, that's too, I mean, oh, that would, if we did 200, that would be too high, right? Six times two. Six times 200 would be 1,200. There we go. Come on, brain. All right, then we subtract it, and that was 138. So now we're thinking, how many 
ways can we split 138 without going over? Okay, so 6 times 2 is 12. That's where I was getting that from. 6 times 2 is 12, and there's a 0. So 6 times 20 is 120. Subtract, we get 18. Now we're thinking about how many groups of 6 we can make out of 18, which is 3. All right, so um, 600 is a partial quotient, and 120 is a partial quotient, and 18 is a partial quotient. But we're adding these right here, okay? 100 plus 20 plus 3, that's 123. So there are 123 students in the fifth grade. That is a really big school, guys. So if we only have 20 students per grade, per class, it's like, wow, they need a new school. Um, because 123, that'd be, wow, that'd be like five, six classes of fifth grade. Multiply to check your answer. Is 123 times 6, 738? 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 2 is 12, 13. And 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So that checks. That is a huge school. I hope they build another school for those poor kids. Um, how would you use the distributive property to find 242 divided by 2? Okay, so let's see here. If we break this apart, that'd be 200 divided by 2 plus 40 divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2, right? So we could just bring these down right underneath. 200 divided by 2 is 100. 40 divided by 2 is 20. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. 100 plus 20 is 120 plus 1 is 121. Okay? So basically, break your, um, break your dividend down into, remember it's dividend divided by divisor, okay? So break your dividend down into the value of each place. All right, go try some on your own. Have fun with, you can use distributive property, you can use a combination of distributive property and area model, or you can try out this partial quotients if that feels good to you, okay? Um, check your work, work with a friend if you wish, just remember to stay on task. And I'm here to ask, answer your questions if I'm not working with someone else.